That was Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. Uh, we have a surprise, almost surprise guest in this studio here. Uh, hello, James. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Yeah, good. Overwhelmed. This is um, James McDonald here. Uh, he's coming to talk about his new single, um, and we're going to play it in just a few minutes' time. Um, so, were you a musical kid? Always. Always. Always singing. Mum couldn't shut me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just was singing? it just singing or or instruments? As I well? don't have everything. I've never been able to play instruments. Um, I'm yeah. just not clever enough. I'm like that. <laughs> Monkey's hands on yeah, elastic um, bands. That's, I can do one hand and like. I can do the other, but I can't get them to work <laughs> together. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm terrible with instruments. I gave up guitar when I was like 11, <laughs> and I could play about two still songs. Still proud of those two songs. I'm still you can proud play, of them. Anyway, yeah. um, so how has your journey been from going from your like childhood to now? Uh, fast, really. Very yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, what have you been doing? Uh, from childhood, I've done. I was always in anything musical theatre and anything musical. I was always first to put my hand up and say I wanted to do that. Uh, never back down with it, so I was always first to do that. Then, when it got to secondary school, I was picked to do solo after solo at different events for the school and the county. Uh, and then I applied for the X Factor. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, what, what sort of genre would you say you're you're most interested in that you create? Uh, what I'm interested in um, and what I sing are two different. I, I like to sing a lot of soul. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like a solely pop twist kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I love listening to Eric Clapton and oh, right, Derek yeah, and the Dominoes and the Eagles and stuff like that. Anything that's got a really nice guitar riff, really. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so what are your plans for the future? Well, we've just finished the first single, which you're about to hear and play, um, which is Red. And then after that, we've got an, an, a, couple of, a couple of songs coming out uh, leading up to the album, which is hopefully... Be recording next year. Now, have you thought about the album name? Um, I've had a few, but I've not discussed with my manager, so probably best to talk to him first about yeah, stuff like yeah, that. I won't ask you to say anything. <laughs> but album name's important. Uh, you've got a gig tonight at the Eden Bar, don't you? I do, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us anything about that place? Not place, even. Time? Uh, yeah, it's going to be seven onwards. Um, I think there's a few gig- a few acts. Uh, it's really chilled out night just if you want to come down grab a drink and have a good time so Eden, Eden Bar uh, obviously and the Market Cross uh, just just right near the Market Cross I believe um, if you go uh, down the road a little bit and then I correct me if I'm wrong but it's quite near Argos is it? Is it moved? or is um, that a different that's I a different, that's a different road yeah, yeah, I think that's a different <laughs> one yeah. <laughs> better not better not mention that bit awkward um, near the, um, it is, the it Market is near Cross the Market Cross Cross, yeah. Cross, Um, even. Anyway, um, this is James McDonald's song. This is Red. I hope everyone enjoys it. We'll be having feedback, guys. We'll do. We'll have a bit more uh, chat afterwards. But yeah, feel free to contact us. Uh, Give James some feedback. You can phone in on 01476 577 522. You can text the word gravity followed by your message to 60300. Or email studio at gravity FM. Right, this is it. James McDonald's cover of Red. And I'm alright standing in the street light. You took something perfect and painted it red. That was read by James McDonald. We have him in the studio at the moment. So how was that? First radio play? Yeah, it's good. I'm happy with that. A bit nervous? No, 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 I'm never nervous with my work. I'm always happy with how it sounds. Good. It was brilliant. Thank you very much. Know. Let me Very be the good. first person to say that. Me Hope too. you guys enjoyed it as well. It Absolutely second. fantastic. It was. It was. Um, so, what are you doing this weekend? Because I hear you've got some sort of exciting actions. Well, this weekend happening. is the official release of my single, the one that you just heard, Red. Um, it's being released on Sunday. Uh, we're having a launch party at the Pitch and Piano in Nottingham uh, between 8 and 10 p.m. Uh, so, if you're available and you feel like a good night out, and a giggle and uh, probably a little bit of an impromptu gig by myself then pop down and have a good time I'll be showing my face all around the buses on Nottingham as I don't know if you know I'm a bus driver so are you a Nottingham bus driver? I'm a Trent Barton bus driver in Nottingham oh, right. yeah, so. so you should know the uh, bus drivers you're with yeah so the, all my work are behind me so they've said I can just hop on and off buses and 
get my CD and stuff out as, as far and wide as I can on that, and I'll be around Nottingham. Well, that sounds brilliant. Um, if you want to find links to Facebook and YouTube for uh, James McDonald, you can look up uh, jamesmcdonaldmusic.co.uk and that will have everything on there that you want to find. Links to Facebook and YouTube and all that. Um, so how many songs is it that you've got You've got coming out the singles? Uh, before Christmas, we're hoping to... Well, not hoping, it is happening. We've got Red coming out. And then we've got two more songs coming out after that. Two more. So churning them out before before December. Yeah. Or Christmas. That's fantastic. Um, are you doing anything for Christmas? Any Christmas songs? Or are you just going to be listening to them entirely? I'm just going to be listening at the minute, yeah. Just listening. To be fair, I'm not much of a fan of Christmas songs. However, apparently, what is happening at the station here is the Drive Time crew. So us two and a couple more people are um, doing a very embarrassing parody of a very well-known <laughs> Christmas song uh, with an embarrassing video. It's been planned. Okay. Count yourself lucky. Count yourself lucky not being forced to do something like I that. I think I'm busy that day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great excuse. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be chatting uh, a little bit more, uh, more to you in a couple of minutes' time, uh, if you have the time. What time do you say the, the gig starts? Tonight. Uh, if you get down there for between 7 and 9, it'll so be acts on all night. 7 till 9, acts on all night, including James McDonald at the Eden Wine Bar. Right now, this is Paramore with Ignorance. The best music and entertainment. It's Ben and Minty. On 97.2 97 Gravity FM and online at gravityfm.net. Hello there. 53 minutes past five, which means we've just got a few more minutes. Uh, I'm here with Minty, my co-host, and also uh, a special guest today. We've got James McDonald. Um, we played his single a little earlier on. Uh, I'm sure it's going to get played at least five more times by us on the station <laughs> in the next uh, month or so, which, which is pretty good. That's, uh, that's over one a week, just over. <laughs> awesome. Um, that's when you know you've made it. Yeah, exactly. Better Minty play your song. <laughs> Um, so, have you got any names to drop? Because you you did mention earlier that you you worked at uh, you worked at on the single at some very interesting yeah we studios. Uh, we studios. done uh, we, we named uh, the studio as uh, Rockfield, which is in Monmouth, a uh, fantastic studio, and that's just heaped and heaped and heaped in history. The 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 piano that you heard on Red is the same piano that Freddie Mercury wrote and recorded Bohemian Rhapsody on. That's very amazing. Um, the Name room drop. that I stayed in uh, was the same room or the same little kitchenette area and bedroom that Freddie Mercury stayed in when he went there to do it. And I never knew that they had hotels at. at oh, it's, uh, it's all a converted. It's all a converted studios. barn. It was all, all a big, a converted big barn. barn, and they've converted some of the barns into accommodation, and then the 